Hi, so we're here at the Alubat Chantier here in Le Sable d'Olonne today, and we are here with Cecilia, who's going to show us around the factory. Here is the metal workshop. So this is the building where we um, we build uh, all the, the the boats. I mean, this is really the beginning. The beginning. So uh, first, we uh, we have our design office, uh, which work on the the layout, the the plans, uh, and they send these plans to uh, our uh, subcontractor uh, in order to cut with a water cut uh, the, the, the metal, the aluminium. Okay. And then we receive the aluminium, uh, so flat, of course, and uh, on the sewing pallet. Uh, this is uh, like a, a gabarit. Yes, um, a, a model. A model, yep. yes. This is a model of the hull of the the Ovni uh, 430. So the aluminum sheets wrapped around the model, and then the structural is put in on the side afterwards, or the other way around. You do the structural bit, and then the aluminum sheets are welded to it. How does that work? So we, yep. we, we put the, the structure on our, on on it, yep. and then we put this um, aluminium, um, and we we welded it. Okay. To the structure. When we build a, a hull, uh, the, the first part we put on it is uh, here the um, keel. The keel, yes, the keel box. This you can see a, a keel here. So it's That's a, a nice angle. You see the shape of it. Yeah. So it's a, a NACA profile. NACA profile. So it's like a, like plane. Like uh, the plain wing, yes, plain yeah. wing, yeah. It's so, uh, a hull of uh, 370, okay. Uh, so around the keel box, you have the, the place for the, the ballast, okay. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, this one is uh, equipped with uh, a boat roster, so this is a tunnel for the boss roster. All right, okay. Uh, and uh, here is the crash box. So the crash box is, uh, it's a, a space completely independent uh, from all the, the boats. There is no longitudinal uh, reinforcement because the aluminum we are using is uh, 10 millimeters um, in, in, the, in the bottom of the boat. Uh, and then eight millimeters for the, the sides. Okay. So we don't need any uh, more longitudinal reinforcements. Yeah. You guys know, I'll leave a link in the corner, either up here or up here, for when we were actually attacked by walkers. This is one of the reasons why we actually have a choice for that aluminium boat. Is by the way that the mothers are actually enforced into the hulls themselves, regardless of whether the orca bends the rudder stock or your main steering which is attached to the rudder, it doesn't matter because there'll be no impact with water actually coming into your boat. Something to think about when you're looking to buy your boat. That's enough from me. I'll let you get back to the pretty one. And so here, so as you can see, so. Uh... These boats are, have two rudders, and also uh, the propulsion is a, a, a thermic engine uh, with a shaft drive. Okay. But of course, we can equip uh, uh, our boats with uh, different uh, engines. Uh, we can uh, have uh, electric engines. We can have a hybrid 
uh, I would say bots. Uh, so we we can adapt. We can completely adapt. And this is also the advantage of the aluminium construction because uh, we can adapt. We don't have a mold yeah. uh, like uh, composite boats. Uh, this is really the advantage of the aluminium. We, we can uh, really uh, personalize the boats like the owner wants. So, so then the boats uh, go through these doors <laughs> and uh, enter in the paint workshop. So for plus, is it with an yeah. oven or is it sprayed on? Spray. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here the boat will spend uh, four weeks and not less because we have to uh, respect uh, different steps. So um, the time, the time, exact, drying times, drying times. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we cannot uh, keep the door uh, open. Open uh, for long. Okay. Yeah, you can come. So, uh, so here is uh, so the, the paint shop, and uh, so there's a lot of steps. So the, the boat is staying uh, four weeks here. And insulation of the boat in because inside, right? Because uh, the insulation is sprayed on. Yes. Is it cork? I didn't realize until the other day you could even spray cork. It's so make uh, yeah. it liquid enough to be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then uh, at the end, it's uh, like, like this. Something I want to point out is actually the fairing and the cost difference. Because a lot of owners, especially of aluminium, want bare aluminium, um, which actually looks, when it's done correctly, looks really, really pretty. The difference is it's actually a little bit more expensive because it takes a lot more man hours um, to tidy up and correct the welding. And yet, I don't know if any of you guys know Rand Sailing, but I'll leave a link up the top there they've been spent the last I don't know month or so fairing and sanding their boat um, in France we call it Andre um, but it's just like the the resin compound that you use to fair your boat and this is what they're doing here so any imperfections any slight ble blemishes on the aluminium um, within the welding that would take more time this way they can fair it off which also helps protect the aluminium get it sanded back and then do all the layers of paint to finish it off, actually giving you a better, stronger, smoother finish. I just want to point that out, you know. There's a black foam, so we put the cork plus this one. You've got five millimeters of cork and then two and a half centimeters of foam on top. And this is the, the insulation for the engine room. For the soundproofing? Nice thick, yes. That? Mm -hmm. That's the difference between that and production boats, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Explain to us what's going on here. Yeah, so here we are at the, in the work, uh, wood workshop. Um, so we are uh, building all the, the furniture. Uh, but to fabric fabricate um, all the woodwork in-house. They work with uh, a C'est le terme qui m'a empêché de parler tout en anglais. With uh, 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 partner? Partner? Yes, um, we, we work. Yes, we work with a partner for all the the, the furnitures inside the boats. But we have to keep all the know-how uh, inside the, the shipyard mm -hmm. because uh, we have to install all these furnitures inside our boats. But also we have to answer to the the request about uh, uh, customization. Mm -hmm. And also for the refit activity. The finition. Là, on a du bois. Oui, oui, ça c'est le, le, le chêne. Voilà, on a des beaux, des beaux bois, des belles. Uh, en... We give the, the choice in the in the wood. So uh, as a, as a standard, we have uh, this uh, this one. So um, the lighter one. The lighter one, and then uh, we give different choices. Um, ash, ash wood uh, is the lighter, and this is the standard uh, wood we use yep. uh, in, in the boats. And then we propose also oak, yeah. oak wood, but uh, as an option. Yeah. I like ash. I do too. Mm. Yeah. So here you can see it's really the beginning. So uh, 
we have the stars now. So the hull and the deck are welded. So everything go through, uh, come, come through the, the door. So here you have the water tank, the fuel tank, and you can see uh, uh, they begin to install uh, the electricity. You can see the different van. Yep. Donc, tout à la fin est accessible. C'est bien de voir un peu de construction. Oui, oui. Because in the technical room, this is the only part when where you we don't put any foam. We keep only the cork, and uh, we. On ponce, on ponce et on peint le. Polish. Oui. So and we polish the cork and we paint it also in uh, white. So this is the only, the technical room is the, the only one where you have this okay. white cork. It's a bit more advanced than the one we've just seen the interior of. So there's yeah. installation going on inside. And you've got the hard top on there as well. Yeah, here there's a dog house uh, on this one. And you will see uh, all the furnitures inside. Well, she's not uh, finished. So here is the OVNI uh, 430. So uh, as you can see, she uh, she's well advanced, and the the particularity of this uh, of this 430 is the raised saloon. So she's mm -hmm. the first one because she's the number six. Ah, okay. she, she's the first one with the the deck saloon. Brilliant. Yeah. So uh, so as as I told you, uh, here it's it's open. It's yep. perfectly open, so you have. A very long banquet. Yep. On here in this 430, one thing I want to point out, um, obviously being a, a full aluminium boat, unlike some other manufacturers that will actually put in a composite top, all the furniture has to be built, as we saw just up the top there, they have in France what they call the moquettes. So the base parts of the furniture will be built or roughly constructed outside, but each section then has to be put into the boat and finished off and tied into the boat. Because obviously you can't just lift the, the roof off of this thing. Sorry. So it's having an understanding of yeah. the actual yeah. amount of work that goes into this boat and the, the artisans that, the, that fit them out. The well, I'm actually the well, in awe of very, some very, of these guys yeah. of, of their level of skill Regular. on actually building out yeah. these boats. Actually... There's no cheating yeah. with aluminium, yeah. you just won't get away with it. I can see why it's important. As we said, this is actually a, a 430, um, having the, the internals done and built. We'll leave a link to the tour we did last year at the La Rochelle Boat Show. And this one, is actually being fitted out with the aft workshop. I haven't got my wide angle lens on me, so I apologize about that. But we will be getting a, a test sail on one, you know, in a few months. So you'll get a second view of this. The difference is with the workshop and the way it's done on this two cabin version, you actually get a separate shower and heads, which is pretty cool. One level living, so it's raised deck saloon, but it's one level living. Your galley is on the same level um, pretty much as everything else. You just, you know, step so into your nav area and so on. That's really, really good. Very, very clever. You have what, two cabins? And guest accommodations. So this is where all the magic happens. Where are we? Yeah. So here is a design office. So here they, they developed the design of all the, the boats uh, from Alibats. And also they can work on, uh, on some specifications, uh, customization um, asked from uh, the owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So of course they work a lot on their, uh, <laughs> on their computers. 
but they they go also very often uh, in the shipyard in order to uh, yeah. follow uh, the uh, uh, the construction of uh, of the yachts and also uh, uh, when we they are working on uh, new equipment so they they um, they go to the to the shipyard and Having it right through the builder concept mm -hmm. wow and uh, and of course they work also with the naval architects uh, design office mm -hmm. uh, so mortin mavricios and uh, the cba uh, design office uh, in order to develop the new uh, the new models so talking about new models what are, what have you got coming up for us and we are working uh, can you on say? the yeah <laughs> yeah we can uh, we can talk about uh, the uh, new the ovni the ovni uh, 490 so uh, she will be uh, very specific because uh, we will have a, a, pi a pilot house uh, right. So the chart table is uh, in the same level at, uh, from the cockpit. Yeah. So uh, so she will be very very pleasant, I think. So forty nine foot. Uh, Fifty foot. Ah. Yeah. I look forward to seeing that one then. Mm. <laughs>